off track a little bit with it, but there were a couple of patients that really stuck with it. They applied the principles that we told them to. Um, we provided you guys with a resource packet. The resource packet was very similar to the one that I have here tonight. Um, we'll go ahead and pass this around for you guys and make this available for you. But it was a 28 day challenge where you were monitoring your five essentials. So every morning you woke up, you're supposed to be checking off that you're doing your max mind, you're getting your mindset ready for the day, you're doing affirmations or listening to music or whatever it is that gets you in state, so to speak, and gets you ready for the day. You're also supposed to be monitoring your uh, nutrition, so either eating core or advanced plan meals and checking that off for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, making sure that you're doing max T3 exercise or exercising somehow every day, making sure that you were doing your daily detox. So that's our two-stage uh, cell and body detox system that we have up front. And then also maintaining your adjustments. So every time you came in, you were supposed to be getting adjusted. And then there was different goals that you could pick at the bottom. It was lose 2% body fat, or maybe you wanted to lose 20 pounds, or maybe you wanted to build two healthy habits. And so tonight we're gonna announce our winner from that. It's actually the the Shamel family that's over here, Miss Carrie and, and Tom, and I want to give them a big hand because the story that she has is really incredible. Um, you feel comfortable? She won't you want to that. share a story? No? Okay. She gets really emotional with it, and rightfully so. Um, last year, she ended up getting the flu vaccine. And after she got the flu vaccine, three weeks after, she ended up developing pneumonia. She ended up getting the flu, no surprise, and fluid in the lungs. And at the time, Tom was actually out of town. He was up in Michigan. So she didn't really have anybody there to help support her. She was really, really sick. She ended up passing out a couple of times. And then um, she decided, she tried calling a couple of friends, getting somebody to take her to the hospital. And instead, she decided, I'm just gonna go ahead and sleep this thing off. And apparently what ended up happening is she ended up going inches of losing her life. So Tom, I think you came home and you yeah. found her. She uh, lost one lung of a function. Another one had five percent. Another lung was only twenty five percent. That's why it was passed out at one And so so I felt her pain um, growing up. I, I had asthma my entire life and I was always on inhalers and so she just told us tonight this is really really exciting I was just crying with her gave her a hug this is so cool she's been on two different inhalers since then she's been on two different allergy medications she's been on antibiotics what else have you been on yeah, on steroids, on steroids. Yeah. so she's been on a whole slew of medications since and every time she goes to the doctor there's never been any discussion of nutrition there's never been any discussion of exercise there's never been any lifestyle intervention or help offered in that arena. And then they just got started here back in April. So it's only been two months now. It's been a little over 70 days or so. Or is my math wrong? Not, not even that, that. okay. It's only been about yeah, five weeks. So it's only been about five weeks. And so they've been on board for a week and then they heard about the challenge and she's like, I'm gonna do this. And she came in, she said that my only thing that I wanted to do was to be able to swim again. That's all I wanted to be able to do was to swim again, because she used to swim all the time. She hasn't been able to do it for the past year and a half. She came in tonight and she told me that, she showed me her little checkoff list. She started swimming two weeks ago. She, she hasn't taken her medications, any of them. None of her medications. She can breathe and she's getting her life back. And it's all because she just took the principles and she applied them. And that's what Maximize Living the Five Essentials is all about. We're so proud of you. I want you to come up to the front. We've got an award for you guys. It's over here. So tonight, you guys are going to get a maximized living gift certificate of $100 to be used for anything in the office. Oh my gosh, thank you. So
I love you, but it's only been five weeks. Yeah. Really. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the other thing that I left out is she has uh, throat cancer that's been running in the family, and there was a huge concern of hers, so we sat down and we had a cancer consultation. She hasn't been diagnosed with throat cancer yet, but she's in the pre-stages of it, and so we just put the game plan together. You have to act as if you already had cancer, and this is what you need to do, and she drew the line in the sand, and she's got her life back now because of it. It's incredible. Yep. So congratulations. That's all I got for you guys. A couple of upcoming events that we have. Our summer, oh, the summer shape at home. This is what I was telling you about. This is the packet. So on your way out, if you guys want to leave your email with me, this is a little packet that um, has got some accountability for you. So it's got a workout schedule for the next 28 days. It's got some notes that I already gave you. It's also got some really awesome recipes in here for power foods. There's like three pages of recipes in the back. So upcoming next week, have raise your hand if you have not been to Shopping with the Doctor. Okay, so next week, Wednesday night, Shopping with the Doctor, you guys need to get signed up for that. It's only about an hour. I'll walk you around Publix, just down the street, and I'll show you what produce you do and don't have to buy organic, how to read nutrition labels, identify toxic ingredients on ingredient lists, and a bunch of more stuff there. And then we also have our community dinner that's coming up next Monday, the 19th. And we also have a Max Life call. <coughs> Maximize Living has been doing these really cool things. They're doing webinars now and phone calls where you can actually call in as a conference call <coughs> and listen to, uh, for this one, Max Life call. It's going to be on fast, intense results. So it's going to be all on mindset. So that's what I got for you guys. I'm thankful you came out tonight. Um, if you haven't already, <coughs> Go to our Facebook page and please like us on Facebook. And our website is always accessible for you guys if you have any questions um, or haven't gotten signed up for the newsletter.